multiple attempts to repair the work left the original image unrecognizable. Look at that. What the if heck? I sexy. Anyway, I haven't seen art this weird looking since he sang with Paul Simon. Uh, nobody gets it. Anyway, the same thing happened to a painting of Christ a few years ago, also in Spain. What's with Spain? There aren't any legal requirements to become an art restorer there. Anyone can do it, even including this guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it remains to be seen if the painting in its current condition is fixable. But it may be an easier face to fix than this one. <laughs> Wow. All right, Terrence, <laughs> uh, what do you think of this? And please link this to loony liberals. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hashtag I'm loony liberals. I could liberal. fix it, but I'm still trying to learn how to color inside the lines. <laughs> but listen, I will try my hardest, but I don't want any money for it. If they can bring back Unjamama pancakes, I can fix this. <laughs> Or we have no deal. Or we have no deal. No deal. <laughs> Maybe replace Aunt Jemima with the re Restore. That would work. Probably not. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Let's replace her with that. We can't get rid of this woman. You know, uh, uh, white and black people have been eating pancakes together for a long time. <laughs> and now they're trying to divide. You can't take pancakes from us. You know, pancakes have brought us together. He's intent on bringing the Aunt Jemima <laughs> so issue yeah, let's, let's, yeah. to the floor. Well, Terrence, I have a theory. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> I have no choice, you're the host. Terrence K. Williams. Okay. This the YouTube star. Is the visual depiction of an argument. It's famous on spouse. YouTube. You know how you start off making a little small suggestion, and when you went too far, you try to remedy it and remedy it, and it goes even further, and then you you have, in an hour, everything is absolutely ruined, and your golf clubs are on the lawn, and the putter is stuck in a tree. That makes sense? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Ignorant rich. No. Listen, I'll tell you exactly what this is. This is the problem we have. Spain has the same problem that we have yes. in America. People with no backgrounds claiming to be something they're not. I wow. Instagram model. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Director on Twitter. No, Clever and you. witty writer. Uh, ads. No, he's preaching. Now, apparently in Spain, you can say, I once held a a brush at a Holiday Inn so I can restore art because my mommy says I draw really good pictures. So we have a whole generation of dumbasses who think they can do stuff. And I guarantee you when that person looked at that, exactly. he said, oh yeah, no problem, no problem. Exactly. And then literally with a ballpoint pen decided to fill in yeah. the restoration of that. I yeah. mean... That's I met horrible. people Is like that. Amateur? No, that's not amateur. That's yeah. literally someone I, who has, I think, paint allergies. Who was like, the, you know, this is a problem that we have in our country with all kinds of geniuses with no wisdom or experience, and you get paintings like that. Yeah, Cat, do you think that this is real, or is this one? Is this a real story? I was wondering when I was looking at it because it's so ridiculous. I don't know if it is, though. I gotta say, I'm kind of tempted to leave my current life behind and become an art restorer or but myself. That's like the uh, TV show uh, Bosch. Number one, that's we keep all do that in real life. this person who did this, right? We don't know who they are. They screwed up real, real bad, but nobody knows who they are. Nobody can find their Twitter and, yeah. you know, tell them they're worthless and a moron or whatever else. And, number two, amateur restorer, you're an amateur, and you're given a 17th century piece. I mean, that is amazing, a career with amazing upward mobility. Yes. That would be like if my first time I came off of, like, Fox and Friends as a guest, they were like, all right, come to the next studio, you're filling in for Hannity. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> Art restorer <laughs> is the way to go. Yeah, you're you know what? I wonder if the guy who did it is, uh, is also the guy who found the noose. Wow. <laughs> you know, Pete... Oh, I, Pete, I think that the actual improvement is much more attractive because I find non-dimensional flat faces, especially cartoonish flat faces, to be highly erotic. <laughs> but like, like Phineas and Ferb or I, I mean, just so, a, any sort of cartoon. I, you know, I, don't, I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that, Greg. So I'm just going to leave it right there. You're supposed to explain uh, what you find erotic is what you I, do. Exactly. I, I'm, I, I can't. Uh, I, I would say this. Painting is hard. Have you tried to paint something recently? I mean, I have.
photograph because I have kids that paint. The, it's, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. I could not paint a picture of myself that looks remotely like myself. So yeah. I, whoever, whoever signed Esteban, uh, it's their fault. There's, we don't want to do a bunch of credentialing and schooling and, you know, you need 6,000 hours of painting to be a restorer. Wow. You should just be able to be a restorer. You just might want to find a better one. Like the one who retouched my face on my book, Rick. Yes. This is all retouched. This is not really me. I had them restore it. Uh, and, and that's why we sold Pete, so many. Pete, do you know the, the guy who did your book, How to Make You Less Good Looking? Because it was just too intimidating. <laughs> uh, they did that for me. <laughs> yeah, they did it they for me. They added an extra cheekbone. Yes. yes. All right, a really awesome story about cats and dating. That's next. The boys.